Okay, my friends, this is hard to believe they don't understand what they're looking at. Stunning green comet will be closest to Earth today at peak brightness. They think this is nothing but a snowball. Okay, my friends, another shocker du jour. Stunning green comet closest to Earth today at peak brightness. We know what's stunning is the incompetence of our scientists in academia. Absolutely total, complete incompetence. There's not one of them that has a freaking brain in their head. I'm telling you, I can't believe what they have done to the kids' minds. Absolutely destroyed them. Does that look like a, just a snowball? <laughs> it is nothing like a snowball. And why is this comet coma shooting out this way? And these are all little bitty ones shooting this way, this shooting this way, and this way. This is not dust just blowing off, which they think. It's absolutely incredible. The lack of capability of our teachers. They're, they're a disgrace. This is what's given off by comet 67P. This is 100% biological. They agree, don't want to talk about it. Ferrous oxides are blood. Iron is in your blood. You have different states of oxidation in those irons. Um, hydrocarbons. You're saturated with hydrocarbons in your body. Silicon. Carbon. Hydrogen. Sodium. It's all biology. 100%. This is Comet Omaru Maru. That's not... A that's not a snowball. I know exactly what it is, and I have shown it many times. All of this stuff is biology. How it got in space, I cannot tell you, although I do think I know why. This is why it's given off green. It's sending off one of these colors from one of these metals that is in a metal asteroid, a comet, let's call it a comet. And they say it's nothing but dust and snowball. Absolutely unbelievable denial of reality. And they're destroying the minds of all the people. They are, they are the destroyers of the human mind. And they have destroyed yours. If you believe what they're telling you, you have been duped, lied to, defrauded, and drained of your money to say what they want you to say. That's all it boils down to. There is no truth and there is no, no search for truth. None whatsoever. It's totally opposite of what education is supposed to be. 100% opposite. And it is a total disgrace. Now, this is what they did when they went up to Comet 67P. This was the Rosetta mission, and they sent up what they called a fillet lander. It was a little lander that followed this thing for a couple of years and watched every little detail, collected samples, collected everything. They watched how the gases came off in all these different directions. Why? Why isn't this just dust blowing off like they had expected? Well, they figured out nothing they thought was correct. They're not snowballs. They're not gaseous. What's coming out of here is gases, yes. But they're not what they thought, like just blowing off from, from moisture, from uh, a snowball. These gases contain transition metals and the biology that it is in you and you want to see it here it is right here i follow this closer than anybody on the planet i can guarantee you i follow this as close as anybody that was involved in the mission here's all the spectral analysis you see this ferrous oxides your body is loaded with iron iron is fe iron is <laughs> in your blood and it comes in different states of oxygenation you're fully oxygenated you breathe in you blow it out it's the carbon dioxide it's, it's different states of the iron accepting and giving up so it's fe2o2 fe2o3 and then there's different variations where they're sort of mixed together that's what this is Sodium, silicon, carbon, hydrocarbons, all of the, and they agreed. They said, yeah, you're right. It's absolutely 100% organic. And I said, well, what are you going to do about that? And they never heard another word about it. All right, you all know that I do the mud fossils, and it, it reflects on religion in a huge way. What is our origin and what is our eventual reality that we're going to, everyone will face after they stop living? 
Tom Brady's Catholic upbringing affect his approach to football? I'd like to see him look into the research that we're doing now. If he's going to be out of football, he's going to need something to do.